Hello, so in this video I'm going to show you one thing that many people get taught incorrectly and this will avoid stalling and avoid many of the problems when it comes to driving. It will even help with things like bay parking and other manoeuvres. So what is it? Well let's get straight into the action, let's get going. All it is is simply when people are taught to move off, they're often taught incorrectly. Now I've already been over this many times before in other videos in this series this is not so much about using the gas before the clutch, which is, which is an important point. And if you haven't seen my videos on that, do go and check those out. We've often said in the past you should do the gas, then the clutch. But in this video, I'm going to share a tip. I'm going to move off now, and I want you to watch the way I do my clutch. So notice I'm moving. Watch what I do with my clutch now. See how fast I lift in my clutch pedal? Now sometimes that confuses people and they say, well, how come when I do that I stall? And how come you can lift your clutch so quickly? The whole problem comes in from the words that are used when people are taught to drive. Now if you don't know, as I've said many times, I'm sorry if you're sick of hearing this, but there are lots of new people who are coming to my channel recently. As well as being a driving instructor, I'm also a qualified hypnotist. So I understand that the words people use are very powerful. The problem is that when you get taught to move off, we often use the word slow, which is the wrong word. People often say, lift the clutch slowly. And sometimes people say, well, I'm doing it slow, I'm doing it slow. You don't actually lift it slowly. What you do is you pause the clutch. So I'm going to lift my clutch pedal now. It's very quiet, by the way, around here. So um, this is an ideal place to show, to show this. We've also got a nice big hill, um, and the hill gets steeper the further up I go to show this does work, even appeals. So what you need to do is pause the clutch pedal. Don't just lift it. Imagine that's my foot. Some people think you've got to lift it slow and it still keeps stalling. What you've actually got to do is lift it, pause, count to three, then you can often lift it as fast as you want. Let's show you that. So I'll lift the clutch to the biting point, bit of gas clutch. One, two, three, no jumps or anything. Let's pull over and I'll show you that again. So I'll pull over here. Again, no need to indicate because there's no one around. That woman with the dogs isn't going to care. So what you've got to do is lift the clutch to the biting point and then pause the clutch for three seconds. It's what I call the pedal pause. Pause, pedal pause, if you want to call it that. So what you do gas clutch. Again, there are other things moving off. We've done all this in other videos. But I'm checking around. Pause the clutch one two, three, off as fast as you want. You won't jump at all. There's no jumps, no stalls, no bangs. What people do incorrectly is this. They lift the clutch and they try and just lift it slow and slow and slow and slow. And this is when people start blasting their horns at learners. And this is why learners often get confused and say, I don't get it. How come I'm moving off so slowly? So gas clutch, I'll explain that more in a moment. I had the clutch there before, let's get it higher, there, that's a better point. One, two, three, or fast, fine. Now I'm not saying you should lift the clutch really quickly, I'm not saying it's a good idea to when you move off just count to three and then rip it up like that. And I hope you can see that on the video because I'll never know, you know, until I watch the video back where you can see. I'm not saying that you should set the clutch and then just rip it off quick, I'm doing that deliberately, like over exaggerating that to show you that you can actually do that and it will work. But what you need to do is find the point, okay, one, two, three, and then lift it off smoothly. Another important thing to realize is that the clutch only does something in the central third. The clutch there to there does nothing. So when you're moving off, there's no point in doing it slow at this point because you're nowhere near the biting point. When you're above the biting point there to there, you can lift it as fast as you want because it's not going to do anything. It's only roughly the central third. It's not exactly thirds, but that's the way I look at it. So from there to there is where you need to be careful. You need to find the correct point in that zone and then pause the clutch, hold it still, one, two, three, then go. That's how you move off properly. You don't just lift it slow like this because many people have this thing about slow. The word slow, is a negative word and your mind does not like negative words. So when you lift the clutch, not just slow, you can lift it quickly to the point, 
hold it three seconds and then go. And I'll demonstrate that now. So if I do it like this, I'll go check, set, pause, one, two, three, off I go. So there you go, just a quick tip. If you're having trouble moving off, pause the clutch. Let me show you again. Don't just do it slow, don't just lift it like this. Slow, 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 slow. Got to pause it at the right place. So I'll check around, gas clutch, pause, one, two, three, lift. That's how you move off in a car. It's not quite as simple as it may look because I know a lot of people ask me, why do you make these videos? Because surely no one will tell lessons if they can just watch all your videos. You cannot learn to drive just by watching videos. That may look quite simple but you've got to find the correct point and that's where practice comes in. So check out the other videos on the screen. There are lots of others in this series about moving off and clutch control. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you again soon for more videos.